ready? Yep. So this is what it looks like to run the broad fork. People have asked us about our process in tilling and aerating by hand. So this is the process of the broad fork. And once you are into a rhythm, you can make it go fairly quickly. And again, this just aerates the soil. It is not intended to plow or do a complete turn. So this is what we want to see in our soil, good healthy soil. You can see there is a nice lovely fat. next step of preparing this soil bed and it's just taking the hoe and breaking up the larger chunks just a little bit and pulling out weeds when and we pulling, find them yes and pulling out the weeds so we get a little bit of a close-up here so you can see what that looks like so get a weed and it has a bucket over here to collect the weeds so that those will go out and not back into the garden. Next is the wheel hoe and this again just breaks it up a little bit more. It's the next step in the process. As you can see these are all hand tools and all the power is human power. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> it is a little bit wetter than we typically would like to work beds but we have time today so it's not soggy by any means but it is a little bit wetter than typical so another step is to go through the bed several times with this rake um, this is a rake from Johnny's and is really a great tool for um, breaking up the uh, bigger pieces that are left. We'll zoom in just a little so you can see the texture that we're starting to get to in this soil. And then I'm going to turn around slowly here so we don't make everyone dizzy and look at the two beds previously that are in process. So have some work yet to do in these to get it fine enough for planting but again these are the uh, stages that we do and work for each of the market beds now the darker rows that you see in this video are actually mulch a very fine mulch that we put on this morning for the paths so that we don't walk in the planting beds it's very important so just coming back around, you'll see this is a section that we have yet to do. And here's the other part we need to see is the weed bucket. And, and junk. And junk that we pulled out. Junk that's been in the beds that we don't want in there. So show us that uh, weed you have there. That means we have some really nice loose soil. As a gardener, I love to see that kind of, I mean, that, I'd pull that out of the ground really easy. And um, so I'm really excited about seeing that kind of a root system. So that means when we have carrots, they're going to be nice straight carrots. And uh, that's, that's really what we want to see. That's what we're going for. Good deal. All right. So we are going to continue to work on these beds and we will give you updates. Um, the other thing I did want to mention about this bed that Donna was demonstrating is that we have only ever tilled that by machine twice in its entire life, and that was only to a four inch depth. So um, you can see how loose that soil is and how good it's going to be for planting um, this season. So more
more to come.